Hey everyone, Mobius1 here, doing a quick, uh, did you know video, I guess you would call it, for Star Wars Galaxy Zemu. Um, when people refer to the back of the cantina, uh, specifically when they're talking about faction recruiters, or the rebel recruiters in particular, um, there's actually two rooms in the back of the cantina, and if you look at your overhead map, you can see there's one kind of off to the right, which is this door over here. And then there's another one that's actually behind the bar. Uh, so this room, uh, obviously, I'm in I'm in Coronet on Corellia right now. There's no one back here because uh, a few people were confused when uh, I was doing my faction video. I said that there is a rebel recruiter in the back of the Coronet Cantina, uh, and there isn't one in that room. However, if you come behind the bar here, both of these doors come around to a back room with a rebel recruiter and two rebel uh, mission terminals that you can do missions out of. So this is the quote-unquote back of the cantina. I'm not exactly sure what you would call the other... I, I mean, I guess technically that is the back of the cantina, and this is like behind the bar, uh, maybe storage room or something like that, but uh, sorry for the confusion. So just be, be aware that there are two different back rooms of the cantina. There's also a back exit, for those that didn't already know or don't use the overhead map, that if you head out this way, there's a back door. So, um, so yeah, just a quick heads up for those that didn't already know. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Hey, everyone. Mobius1 here, doing another Star Wars Galaxy Z Move episode. This one, uh, we're going to be talking about shopping. It's probably a topic that I should have covered a little bit sooner, uh, because it is a rather important one in a game that prides itself on having a player-driven economy. So, there's actually a few different ways that you can shop in Galaxies, and I'm going to try and cover um, as many as I can now in this episode, but... Uh, I may end up splitting this into two smaller parts just to make it a little bit easier. So let's do that. This one is going to be focused specifically on the bazaar. So if I double click on this bazaar terminal, which bazaar terminals can be located in several different areas. I'm in Coronet on Corellia right now. And in most major cities, you're going to have a bank. Uh, I don't know what you would call this. Courtyard, area, district, whatever, whatever that you want this to be considered looks like a little maze. Um, there's banking terminals around the center, and nine times out of ten you're going to have bizarre terminals around the outside. So, hello Wade. You've made it just in time. So, most of the... Uh, most of the... Actually, I'm going to say all of the bank areas have bizarre terminals around the outside. So if you go around, go up to a bizarre terminal and double click on it, you might be a little bit uh, overwhelmed here with a few different things that are going to pop up on your screen. But if you've played other MMOs, chances are you're actually going to be a little bit disappointed with the lack of functionality that this bizarre terminal actually has. So first thing that you need to know is that while this is similar to an auction house in other MMOs, you're not going to have items delivered to you that you purchase on the bazaar, un unlike an auction house. So it's not really like in the auction house eBay system. It's more or less... It, it, those of that have ever played EVE Online, it's very much like EVE Online's market, where players will post items and if you purchase an item, you have to travel to the location that it was posted to pick it up. Um, that is why the very first thing they put on here is a location filter. So by default, your location filter is set on this region, which really is, is another is a fancy way of saying this city. Uh, what that means is if I once I have this filter selected, if I want to find a weapon and I click weapons, all these weapons you'll see, under location are all in Corel are all in Coronet on Corellia. Okay, so I can double click on this and I get further uh, category filters. So if I know I'm looking for um, a one-handed melee weapon, here we have you know curved sword, sword, survival knife, uh, 
I see a katana on here. Janta knife, I don't know. So all kinds of stuff. Vibra blades, Rick blades. And these are all located in this city. So if I purchase any of these, and you can double click on these to get the, the details. And, you know, you can view the 3D model of it, look at all the stats, see who's uh, who owns it, who's selling it. Gecko right now. Um, the location, obviously, we know is here because we have our filter set to that. And the price, how much time is remaining before this offer expires. If you want to purchase it, you could click buy. Gives you a little chance to buy it or not, cancel. Uh, you can also use these arrows, the left and right arrows, to browse through the list of items here. So you don't have to keep closing this and then double clicking the next one and then closing this and double click the next one. Uh, you can just cycle through them right here. Alright, but now let's say we can't find what we're looking for uh, in this region. Well, we would have to expand it to this planet. And now you're going to get things that are being sold on in any city uh, on Corellia. And I'm in Coronet, which probably wasn't the greatest idea for this video because Coronet is Coronet is your is the game's largest trade hub. It's the largest city in the center of the galaxy map. So a lot of people, there we go. Corvella. Uh, so a lot of people will sell stuff in Coronet. So if you if you're looking for something, this is probably the city that I would come to. As in the case of most uh, most of the other videos that I've mentioned, major cities, the three major hubs that you're going to find in this game are Coronet on Corellia, Feed on Naboo, and Mos Eisley on Tatooine. Uh, but Coronet definitely blows the other two away as far as as trade hub. Um, but here's this is what I'm talking about. So this one right here says Corvella on Corellia. So it's, it's a carbine for 100 credits. There are a few other uh, basic weapons here. So if I were to buy this, I believe it tells me it should give me a warning. But when I go to buy this, no, no, it doesn't. It tells me after the fact. So this item has been purchased. To retrieve the item, click on the available items tab. Choose the item from the list and press the button labeled Retrieve. You will first need to travel to Corvella and access a market terminal there. So I said OK. If I go to Available Items at the top, this here tells me what items I've purchased. Now, Location Corvella, if I try to click Retrieve Item, it's going to tell me that I cannot because it's located in Corvella. Um, it also gives you a timer of seven days. You basically have a week to retrieve that item or it is lost. I believe if you don't retrieve it within a week, it's it's not it does not go back to the seller. I believe it's just destroyed. Uh, because at this point the seller has already made uh, has already received your credits. Now you do also get an email uh, saying that you've won the you know won the reward or whatever and it, it even gives you an attachment to a bizarre terminal in that city. So there's really no reason you shouldn't be able to pick it up. But uh but that is definitely how that works. Um, you can also expand your your filter to entire galaxy. Now this is going to show you any items that are being sold on any bizarre terminal in the game on your server. All right, so you can see here we got weapons and feed, Corellia, Tatooine, Dantooine. So this is this is literally everything um, based on you know your filter of object type here. Now this is the this is the biggest problem that you're going to run into with the with trying to find an item in galaxies, and that is what does the game consider that item to be? Unfortunately, there is not a text field that you can just type an item name in and and see a result of all of those items. It, it I guess I don't know why they don't have that in galaxies. It's just something they didn't have. Um, I really don't have a good answer for you as to why that feature is not in this game. So, like, the biggest thing that people get uh, wonder is when they sit down in front of this, you know, a lot of people are looking for vehicles. And when you look in this list, you have armor, armor power-ups, buildings, clothing, component, data, deed, entity, installation, jewelry, miscellaneous resource container, ship component, tool, weapon, and weapon power-up. There's no vehicle category here. So... You know, a lot of people would be like, well, maybe it's a tool. And then you look under tool, and you got camp kits, crafting tools, repair tools, ship component, survey tool. Well, no, that doesn't sound right. Maybe it's a ship component. Now, ship components are all jump to light speed, you know, starship component related. There's no, no vehicles here. 
uh, miscellaneous, and you go through this miscellaneous list, and I'm not even going to read these off, but there is a ton of random stuff. I mean, even in miscellaneous, which is supposed to be like that random category, there's a category called item. Item. Like, what's the difference between miscellaneous and item? So, I mean, navigating this can be rather frustrating. Um, and if anybody has any questions as to where to find an item, what like what category an item's listed under, uh, post a comment on here. And if I know the answer, I'll let you know. But I mean, here, look, this is another perfect example. There's another category under miscellaneous called generic item. So we have generic item and item. Really? Really? So, it's a trap. Anyway, uh, certain things like ve uh, vehicles and buildings, they are listed under deed. So you have building deed, droid deed, which uh, we don't think are not in the game yet. Installation deed would be for like harvesters and factories. Um, pet deed, so you can actually, oh look, people are selling Easter bunnies. How cute. You can actually get pets in this game, in the emu, now, uh, but they are not combat pets. They're purely cosmetic. Uh, and you can put them in your house and, and do fun stuff with them like that. And then vehicle deeds. So here's where you're going to find your swoops, your speeder bikes, and your land speeders, and so on. Alright, so as far as like the armor, armors, you know, is filtered by, by armor piece, so that's not bad. Uh, same thing with clothing. The only thing that you're not going to find here are when people sell armors in sets. So under miscellaneous, at the very bottom, is a wearable container. Now this is important. This is basically your backpacks. And it's important to know that if people will put items in backpacks and sell them as a set, they're not going to be listed on the bazaar. Uh, <laughs> Oh, he's the Jesus Christ of the server. I really don't believe I'm the Jesus Christ of the server. I'm just a guy making educational videos. Leave me alone. Anyway, um, if somebody puts an item in a backpack and wants to sell it as a set, uh, for example, like a whole suit of armor, or in this case, buffs, there's no way to tell what is in the backpack when you go to buy it. So right now, like, if you look through here, sure, this person named the backpack Bizarre Buffs, they put the stats of the buffs, they even put in the description uh, of the item, it's a complete set of six packs, which is how many buffs there would be. But, there really is no set system, and I know for a fact that when you go to buy this, you get a warning. You were attempting to buy a container named Bizarre Buffs. The container's name does not necessarily reflect its contents. Do not make just make this purchase, blah, 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 unless you trust this seller. So this is really a buyer beware. Whenever you purchase a backpack, you could be spending 20,000 credits for an empty backpack. All right? Um, and there is no rule against, you know, someone selling empty backpacks for 20,000 credits, uh, advertising them as being something different. That's... That's how EVE works, that's how the Galaxies works. It's It really is, like I said, buyer beware. Um, that's really all I have to say about the Auction House, other than the fact that Auction Houses have a hard price cap of 20,000 credits. Uh, you will never find an item for more than 20,000 credits on the Bazaar, nor can you post an item for more than 20,000 credits on the Bazaar. Uh, real quick, I'll talk about sellings, or sales. So if you want to post something to sell, uh, actually, let me let me go pick up that pistol. Thanks for, for chilling, Wade. Let's say I don't want that pistol that I have, or that I bought earlier. So I have to go to Corvella to pick it up, which luckily... I'm already on Corellia, so it's not going to be that difficult to get there. And there's a drop guy. If you guys haven't already checked out my uh, Time to Drop episode that I just posted, I guess it was last weekend? Maybe a week ago? I'm horrible at remembering time. Uh, go give that a check. It's pretty cool. Uh, shuttle will be ready in 23 seconds. I have to wait 23 seconds. You guys don't have to wait 23 seconds. I'll see you in Corvella. And now we're in Corvella. Gee, don't you wish you could travel that quickly and like, when you're actually playing the game? Anyway, so now I have to find a bizarre terminal. 
Uh, I can see terminal, bank terminal, mission terminal, bank terminal. I'm looking for that maze. I see over here, terminal, bizarre terminal. Mission terminal. So we're going to have to head this way. Corvella is one of those towns that's just a nightmare to navigate because it's so spread out. You got these giant cliffs. These pretty cool bridges, though. It would make, this would make a cool area for some sort of event. So here we go. I can see it. Bizarre terminal. So now that I've located the bizarre terminal, I go to available items, CDEF carbine, retrieve item, and now I have it. So now let's say I want to sell it. We're going to go to my, uh, yes, my sales, sell an item. You get this nice little window of your inventory. Here's the CDF carbine that I want to sell. You have two different ways that you can sell an item. You can do either an instant sale, which is like a buyout option, or you can do an auction. If you choose to do an auction, which I will just let you know now, not too many people do auctions. Most people just do instant sale. If you do a, uh, an auction, you need to set a minimum bid. Uh, I don't know if there's a minimum. I'm just going to do one credit and see what it says. Uh, and you can also set a time limit. So I'm going to do one credit for seven days. All right, try and sell it. Hey, it worked. So, oh great, the fee for listing this is 20 credits. So you do have to pay a fee for listing an item to sell. Uh, and now what will happen is people can bid on this, this item. They have seven days to bid. The lowest they can bid is one credit. And just like, you know, regular auction, uh, people will bid and bid and bid. And then whoever's got the highest bid at the end of seven days will win the item. All right. But uh, I don't know... Can I withdraw the sale? Yeah, all right. So you can even withdraw the sale. Unfortunately, you don't get your 20 credit down payment back. So so there's that. Uh, I'm going to... Let's see. Do I have anything I can sell? Uh, I hit last night made me some Mobius muffins and some Mace Windu whiskey. Just to be to have some fun. I'm going to put them up to sell right here for a credit. You know, we'll auction them. What the hell? And yeah, Mobius Muffins, we'll auction, we'll start the credit, or we'll start the auction at one credit, and we'll do it for seven days. Sell it here, and same with the Mace Window Whiskey, and same thing with the Carbine. Where's the Carbine? Where'd it go? Did I have to retrieve it? Yes, okay, so you have to retrieve it. Don't forget to retrieve it. It's very important. Uh, it's also very important to know that if your inventory is full when you have to try and do that, that, uh, it will go in your available items. Yes, this episode is featuring Wade J. Boss. Sell an item. We'll sell the carbine for one credit. Sell. Here you go. So if you guys want some, you know, Mobius One video memorabilia, now you have your chance. Hurry up. You got seven days. Bidding starts now. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm going to post another part of this episode later. Maybe not tonight. Because uh, I have to go grab something to eat. I'm starving. But uh, talking about vendor location and what this tab up here means, this is basically where you're going to find all your end game loot right here. Uh, because most people do not want to sell anything important for fewer than 20,000 credits. Alright, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video has helped you at least get started in shopping or learn something about the bazaar that you might already know. And hi again, Wade. Alright, I'll see you next time. For those of you do that are traveling out here to Corvella, as I'm arriving back at the starport to leave, I just happen to notice there are two bizarre terminals sitting right here, right out front of the starport. So you don't have to travel all the way over there like I did and get lost like I did. You can just right there. All right. Thanks for watching.